This is the ocean. The ocean is a huge body of water that covers over 71% of the Earth and contains about 96.5% of all Earth's water. The ocean is home to all kinds of wacky creatures, including vampire squids and sunfish, which can grow up to 9 feet long and weigh up to 2,200 pounds. But the strangest creatures of all actually live miles below the surface of the ocean in the freezing darkness of the Hadal Zone. The Hadal Zone is the deepest part of the ocean, so deep it has only been explored a few times. At the deepest depths, the temperature of the water is only a few degrees above freezing, and the pressure is a whopping 8 tons per square inch. All things considered, this doesn't seem like a place anyone would like to live, but a few creatures have managed to find a way to call it home. Let's look at how they do it. The first problem animals must overcome is the complete darkness of the deep ocean. Some animals, like the black smelt fish, have huge eyes that can take in even the smallest glimmer of a possible meal or predator. Some, like the tripod fish, evolve to rely only on their sense of touch to find food and don't even have eyes. Other species, like the lantern fish, use bioluminescence, meaning they produce their own light, to attract prey and mates. Another problem is the lack of food. Because it's so dark, there are no plants down here, so many animals are scavengers, meaning they feed on dead organic matter that has fallen down from the upper ocean. Or they are predators, meaning they feed on other, smaller fish. Another problem the animals have had to adapt to overcome is maintaining normal bodily functions at such high pressures and low temperatures. If a human were to try and live at the bottom of the ocean, the cold and pressure would freeze the membranes in their body into a solid, which is not how they are supposed to work. To get around this, the animals must adapt their membranes to remain a liquid, even at the depths of the ocean. To, they do this by having lots of unsaturated fats, the chemical group including vegetable oil, in their cells, which keep them liquid at freezing temperature. Animals at the bottom of the ocean also do not have swim bladders, which helps them survive the pressure. Swim bladders are air sacs found in animals that live in the upper ocean, which help them stay afloat or sink whenever they want. By not having these cavities, the creatures in the Hadal Zone make sure they won't get crushed by the pressure. Compared to other parts of the world, there is still much that needs to be discovered about the bottom of the ocean. But this is a slow process, and it is very hard to collect evidence because the animals cannot survive for very long outside their habitat, and the bottom of the ocean is particularly hard to get to. But the discoveries already made show just how many unique adaptations these animals have made to be able to survive in such a harsh environment.